I just want to say thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much from my side. You know, you're a famous chef, so <laughs> I know about you. For me, it's also a great day today. <laughs> so, Yanni, a little bit about um, just what happens at home in terms of who cooks the food at home. I mean, uh, do you like to be in charge of the braai yourself? The braai side I can do, but my wife is actually also a Michelin chef. Wow. Yeah. She's a famous chef and very, very good. This is actually how she, you know, she lost her husband and I lost my wife. And she started inviting me for dinners at that place. So, no, she's a wonderful cook. So, and so you like the braai side, but what, I mean. Oh, great yeah. fish. Yes, see. And if you have the right chef. Yeah. That's why I'm going to follow you, because <laughs> crayfish and prawns is for me fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I also love it. And, and a good wine <laughs> as well, you know. Yeah. Any preference with wine? I mean, are you... You know, I'm a wine farmer as well. Each and every morning I have to start at 4 o'clock on the wine side and then work there till 9 o'clock the day. Yeah. I have Neil Ellis is making my wine oh, and he's yes. doing everything and he's an exceptional friend of mine and a great wine. Yeah. So what, wine. Which are you is it a label that you Clean uh, Gastro. I farm in on a farm on the farm Clean Gastro Clean and Gastro. that is the label, yeah. And so Neil Ellis is making it that's up at the Els about, isn't that's it? That's right, yeah. yeah. You know, also, I think, uh, taking from myself being a businessman and also a lot of people obviously out there want to learn from people that are successful. I mean, you've been successful for, for many, many years. You know, our conversation really, it'd be nice to find out a little bit more from you. You know, where did it all start? And is there, like, you know, there's obviously not one silver bullet that makes things happen. Um, to just share with us, you know, how, how did it all start? I grew up in the Karua, then I went to Stellenbosch, and then I went, I was employed at a company. And then later on, I, I, we started, a couple of us started a stockbroking company. That was my great thing in life. And then things have changed there. I think it's well known, I've been fired there. And I think, first of all, it's a tremendous shock for you and your family. And then you realize, and I almost call it the defining moment in my life, then you realize you have to make a change in your life. So you have to regroup, get something, get a plan and focus on it. And for young people, a bit of a message is, they're still learning, work hard, and understand yourself. And when you find something great, like you are a well-known chef, that is what you have to do. And it's hard work each and every day. You have to concentrate because you can serve 100 good meals and one bad meal, and then the people will talk about that little bad meal. Mm. Yeah, so it's actually with sense hard work and concentration. And once you've, once you've made it um, and you're successful, uh, and this is not just for South Africa, but also all over, but we're uh, part of giving back, um, not just financially. I mean, I'm talking really about uh, like what you're doing now, sharing your knowledge. Um, uh, is that important for you? Uh, I think that's very important, giving back to <coughs> society yes and i spoke about it a successful company is a contribution for society it employs people and it pays taxes and things like that but yourself only get satisfaction if you can make a difference in the lives of people and that they can be happy now this is something all of us must focus on to give something back in life. This is what you are doing with this program of you to train new up-and-coming chefs as entrepreneurs. 
and it's a privilege and you're giving back your time and it's fantastic because you will be successful in doing that and each and every one will one or other day have a tough time they will lose something somebody that's special to them or they will be fired or something like that but that must just inspire you, you mustn't sit back and complain it must just inspire you so Yanni, what is your recipe for success? I think you must understand your own strong points and weak points and then once you and then focus, get yourself almost a plan discuss it with your friends and family people close to you and when you have a plan that you discussed and you know your limitations, then put it in place and be positive and focus on that. Focus is another thing. Focus on that to achieve it. And it can adapt over time as you experience. So it should be flexible. Maybe. Yeah. Yanni, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it um, and, and for your insights. And I'm sure uh, the entrepreneurs out there or would-be entrepreneurs have learned a lot from uh, an entrepreneur uh, is a special person in life for me and it's a wonderful chance in your life to, if you're young become an entrepreneur and success with your venture and I hope they will turn out fantastic thank and you. they don't won't compete with you one day <laughs> yeah. thank you very much yeah. thank you thank nice you. meeting you good to meet you as well Thanks.